People often ask me what is value sharing? Well, it's pretty easy really. When government creates a project, it tends to create different types of value for different folks. And value sharing are just mechanisms to actually share that value back with government to help pay for the project. Really, from my point of view, I prefer to work with the community to create value in a project that they want to invest in. If I do that, I achieve four different things. The first thing is, I'll create extra value than otherwise would have been developed. The second thing is people will want to pay for it. The third thing is we'll create social license. And the fourth thing is we'll be able to implement that and make the project more affordable for government. And that's a great outcome because it means that the government can use that fund for other initiatives. Well, that's pretty easy, really. It's any project that creates value. Now, of course, some classes of projects create more value than others, and they're just a bit different and easier to apply to. So my own particular experience is in transport projects. I've seen it applied in lots of different ways over the years. But it applies to other asset classes as well. I've seen it applied to water projects. I've seen councils apply it uh, to special areas where they might put in place a, a special rate subsidy or something like that, along those lines. But myself, I prefer to focus more on the broader project commercialisation strategy. Value sharing or community account investment is just one part of the funding and finance strategy. And the funding and finance strategy is just one part of that commercialisation strategy. It needs to be married up with the project delivery strategy, which is all about contracting, packaging and procurement strategy. If you do that, if you've got a sound commercialisation strategy, you've got a much firmer foot to go forward. So the key factors to successfully commercialising the project in this way is to firstly create value. The second thing is to address any public interest issues that people might have with it. And the third thing is developing a mechanism that enables people to invest in the project. The reason why most value sharing schemes don't go ahead is because of public interest issues and not having the social licence to implement the project. Don't start with the mechanism. Start by creating value. If you create value and some that people want to invest in, then you're most of the way there. Well, ideally you do it right at the start. The best project directors I've seen create a vision for the project and a project commercialisation strategy to realise that vision. This fundamentally affects the way that they're going to develop and deliver the project over time. But look, it's never too late. It just gets a bit harder the longer you leave it.